In this video, we'll compare Rust with Zig and Golang. I'm using ActiX HTTP framework for Rust, standard library for Golang and relatively new Zig framework. I decided to update this benchmark because I got a pull request from someone who knows Zig very well. So I decided to give it another shot. To monitor our applications, we'll focus on four golden signals. First, we'll measure latency using P99 percentile. Then we'll measure throughput of all three frameworks. For HTTP-based applications, this means measuring how many requests per second each application can handle. Next, we'll measure saturation or how full the service is. We'll monitor CPU usage relative to the limit defined in Kubernetes and memory usage. But in this case, I decided to use actual values. Since we run these tests in Kubernetes, we also need to measure CPU throttling. Finally, we'll measure errors or availability of the service. For HTTP service, this is the ratio of successful requests to the total number of requests. I use production-ready Kubernetes cluster in AWS to run most of my benchmarks. This helps keep infrastructure as close as possible to real production environments. I use large EC2 instances to deploy applications and four extra-large Graviton-based instances to run my clients. Graviton is IRM-based and a little cheaper than MD. For this specific test, I created a single slash API slash devices endpoint that the client will use, and it returns a single hardcoded device to the client. It's a very simple test, but it gives you idea of the baseline performance of each application. All right, let's start the test. I'm going to run all three applications for about five minutes without any load first. This time I decided to show actual memory usage in bytes. You can see that in idle state, Rust uses under one megabyte, while Zeek uses almost 25 megabytes of memory. Let's deploy the clients. The entire test took around two hours, but I have compressed it to just a few minutes. As expected, Golang has higher CPU usage from the start and its latency is slightly higher than Rust and Zeek. On the other hand, Rust and Zeek are very close to each other in almost all metrics except memory, but that will change soon. At around 20,000 requests per second, Golang started to degrade and its latency began to rise. I applied all optimization techniques I was recommended, and you can see the source code I used to run these tests in my repo. By 33,000 requests per second, it became clear that Golang could not compete in terms of latency with other applications, so I'll focus on Rust and Zeek from here on. At the end of the test, I'll show you how all the applications behaved over the entire test duration. At 40,000 requests per second, you can see small drops in availability graph for the Rust application. Since the average request duration is under one millisecond, I set the timeout to 100 milliseconds. When client exceeds that limit, it gets 408 error code, which causes availability to go down. At around 51,000 requests per second, Golang also starts to drop some requests and cannot keep up with others in terms of throughput. You'll notice that Golang begins to cache more and more requests, and eventually it will exceed 256 megabyte memory limit in Kubernetes and will be killed due to out-of-memory error. Now, let's find out which of Rust or Zeek starts to degrade first. Rust's memory usage eventually reaches Zeek and will overtake it. At around 98,000 requests per second, Rust starts to degrade and you can see from the RPS graph that it can no longer handle the same number of requests as the Zeek application. Its latency also goes up. Not only that, but Rust starts to return errors and you'll see availability decrease due to many timeouts. For the RPS, I only count requests that completed with successful status codes, which is why you see a slight drop in the number of requests for Rust. 
Eventually, Kubernetes started to throttle Golang application, but by this point it doesn't matter. The maximum number of requests that Zig can process is around 118 requests per second, while Rust can handle 113. Golang, on the other hand, only reaches 70,000 requests per second. If you have seen any of my previous benchmarks, especially with BAN, I used two instances with one CPU. In this test, I used one instance with two CPUs, and in terms of throughput, the results are quite similar. Alright, let me open each graph for the entire test duration. First, we have requests per second. Golang is way below, handling around 70,000 requests per second, while Rust and Zeek reach 100,000 requests per second. Next, we have latency. As you can see, Rust and Zeek are much closer to each other compared to Golang's latency. Then we have CPU usage. Next is memory usage. You can see a lot of Go instances because they were killed multiple times. When the pod is restarted, it is immediately hit with a huge amount of requests and gets killed again. Next we have availability. And finally, CPU throttling. Let me know what I can improve in terms of test design or applications, or even better, create a pull request. I have a playlist with benchmarks that you might find interesting. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.